Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with the long-awaited opening of my Phillies 2020 season. Now, for this season, I am using the Imagined set, and uh, I'm using the Imagined set because uh, if you're not familiar with that, Stratomatic took the, tw the 60 game 2020 season and extrapolated the stats out to if they had played an entire season. And on the computer game for the Imagined season, they have the actual schedule that would have happened uh, if the entire 2020 season had been played, which we know it was not because of COVID. They only played 60 games. So uh, I, uh, I put up a video announcing this project, so I will link to that in the end screen so that you can go watch that video if you want to see how I am doing the season. Basically, I'm using the Imagine set from Stratomatic for 2020, playing the actual 2020 schedule that would have happened if they had played the season out, the entire season, and using 2023 rules uh, because basically, except for outlawing the shift, which 2023 rules do, but wasn't in effect in uh, 2020, the rules that are used are about the same rules. So, uh, with that having been said, oh, and we will uh, discuss the Phillies record in 2020. It was 28 and 32 for 60 games. If you extrapolated that out and they played at that same exact pace, they would have won, they would have been 76 and 86. The Miami Marlins finished 31 and 29, just three games, something like two or three games ahead of the Phillies. And if you extrapolated that out to a 162 game season, they would have been 84 and 78. So um, we will get on with the game. The pitching matchup today, this is opening day. This is the first game of the season and it's the Phillies versus the Marlins in Marlins Park. The opening day matchup is gonna be Aaron Nola for our Philadelphia Phillies. And uh, the Stratomatic Game Company, um, extrapolated his statistics out for 2020 if he had played an entire season to be 13 and 12 with a 342 earned run average and 208 innings pitched. And he'll go up against Pablo Lopez of the Miami Marlins and his statistics extrapolated out to 162 games were a 15 and 10 record with a 382 earned run average in 165 innings pitched. So uh, that will be the pitching matchup, and um, we will get to the lineups as the lineups come up, and we, with that, we will get underway. The Phillies are the visiting team. We're in Miami, so uh, the, the Phillies lineup is Roman Quinn leading off and playing center field, Andrew McCutcheon batting second and playing left field, Bryce Harper will be in right field, batting third. Reese Hoskins will be the first baseman. G, uh, JT Real Muto will be the catcher batting fifth. D.D. Gregorius will be the shortstop batting sixth. Alec Baum will be the third baseman and he's batting seventh. Batting eighth will be uh, Gene Segura, and he's playing second base, and then followed by Jay Bruce at DH, the ninth batter. All right, Roman Quinn is going to be the first batter. Now, the dice are going to be off the screen. Nothing I can do about that. There's only so much I can get in um, every, you know, every, every view. So, Roman Quinn batting against... Pablo Lopez, and he gets a 110 to start off. He's a switch hitter, so he'd be batting left, and uh, that's going to be a strikeout. So Roman Quinn strikes out. Lopez gets the K, and Andrew McCutcheon is up. One down, and 4-11. Uh, 4-11, he is a right-handed batter. 
And that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for Miami is a 4E8. And so we will uh, roll. Let's see. We will roll the dice for that. And that is a five, and a five is a single. So McCutcheon is aboard with a hit. Lopez gives up his first hit, and Bryce Harper is the batter. He gets a 6-8. He's a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a double to center field. Now, the running on McCutcheon is a 1 to 14. I'm not going to stretch that. Um, no, because even if you take even anything off, or even if you were to add one, I don't think I'd feel comfortable with that with only one out. So, um, Harper doubles. Uh, McCutcheon over to third. Second hit allowed by Lopez and Reese Hoskins is the batter and he gets a 4-3 right-handed batter. That is going to be a ballpark home run. However, um, let's see, that is going to be a fly ball. So it's a fly ball to left field. Um, Probably B, yes. Fly ball left field B. So there's two outs, but he knocked in McCutcheon with the fly ball. And that brings up GT, 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 JT Real Muto. That brings up Real Muto. 6-6, <laughs> six, six, um, and he is a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. So... He gets out of the inning, Lopez does, but he allows one run to the Phillies in the first, and we're ahead one nothing, And we're sending Nola out to the mound. We're going to the bottom of the first. By the way, just keep your eye on this to see what inning we're in. I'm going to try to keep it up to date, no promises. And the uh, Marlins lineup, let's go through that, is uh, John Birdie leading off and playing second base. Starling Marte batting second, playing center field. Jesus Aguiar is batting third and playing first base. Brian Anderson is the third baseman, um, batting in the cleanup spot. Um, Miguel Roja is the shortstop, batting fifth. Um, Corey Dickerson is batting sixth, and he's playing left field. Matt Joyce is... Uh, the seventh batter playing right field. Francisco Cervelli is catching today, batting eighth, and the DH will be Jazz Chisholm, and he is batting in the ninth spot. So Birdie is leading off. He gets a 110 against a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. First K for Nola. Starling Marte is the batter. And I lost the dice. That's just perfect. So I grabbed a replacement. We will roll it again. We're just going to roll them again. Starling Marte, 5'11". And he is a righty. And that is a fly ball to right field. The right fielder is a 2E3. That is a 16. So let's check that. 16 is a fly ball A. So he's out. And Aguiar is up. And he gets a 1-6 against a righty. 
and that is going to be a double. So they do get a base hit off of Nola in the first inning. Man at second, two down, and Brian Anderson's up. He gets a 1-8 against a righty, and that's a ground ball to the shortstop. So they're out of the inning, 6-3. to three. And no runs come in for the Marlins. They did threaten as we go to the top of the second. Didi Gregorius is the batter. He gets a 1-5, which is a single. So Didi Gregorius is aboard to lead off here in the second inning. Another hit given up by Lopez. Lopez is, is uh, he's getting... Uh, He's getting taken apart here a little bit. Alec Baum is the batter. He gets a 4-10. He's a right-handed batter. That is going to be a, let's see, that's going to be a fly ball to center field. F8, one down. Gene Segura. Oh, my God. Lost the dice again. That is a 6-4. 6-4 um, for a right-handed batter. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Or wait a minute. Yeah, no, the third baseman. And the third baseman for Miami is a 1E27. That is a 5. Probably going to be an out. And it is. And it is a ground ball A. So they're out of the inning. No runs come in for the Phillies, for our Phillies. And we're going to the bottom of the second. And hopefully I won't lose any more dice because it's really annoying. I mean, I've got a cup for a reason that I roll into. Miguel Rojas gets a 2-3. And against a righty, that's a foul out to the catcher. One down and Dickerson is up. He gets a 6-3. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball second base. And Matt Joyce is the batter. And he gets a 110, and that's going to be a strikeout. That is the second strikeout for Nola, and he gets a uh, clean inning there in the second. We go to the top of the third with the Phillies batting. Ahead, 1-0. Jay Bruce is the DH, and he is the batter. He gets a 5-5, five, five, and uh, that is going to be a strikeout. Lopez logging his third strikeout of the game. Roman Quinn is up. He gets a 5-6, and he would be batting left, and that is a ground ball to the second baseman. And there is two down, and McCutcheon is up 1-8. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. No runs come in for the Phillies in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Francisco Cervelli is the batter for Miami, the leadoff hitter. And he is going to get a single. Cervelli is aboard with a leadoff hit here in the third off Nola. That's the second hit Nola has allowed. Jazz Chisholm is the batter. He gets a 6-11, and he's a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a fly ball right field. One down, man at first, John Birdie up. He gets a 6-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. And up comes Starling Marte. Starling Marte gets a 3-3, three, three, 
and that is a ballpark home run, but that is not going to be a home run. It's going to be a fly ball to right field, and they're out of the inning. He's flown out to right both times. He's been up. We go to the top of the fourth. And the batter is Mr. Bryce Harper. And he gets a 3-6, which is a walk. Bryce Harper has doubled and walked this game. And that's the first walk that Lopez has allowed. Reese Hoskins is up. He gets a 5-7, right batting right-handed, a right-handed hitter. And that is going to be a ground ball B, one away. And so Reese Hoskins is um, the... Uh, he is the base runner now. Real Muto is up with one down, one man on. He gets a 6-5, batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. And he has struck out twice. That's the fifth strikeout for Lopez. He's striking people out, but he's losing. Gregorius is up, and he gets a 6-3 left-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 1-E-0, and that is a 3. Probably going to be an out. Let's see. Yeah, that is, that's a ground ball, and so he's out. So, um, let's see. He goes 1-3. to three. Gregorius does. We're going to the uh, bottom of the fourth. And that'll be Ho uh, Jesus Aguiar is the leadoff hitter for Miami. Trying to get Miami on the board here. That is a 5-5 five, five right-handed batter. And uh, that is going to be a double. So Aguiar has doubled twice. He's been the uh, only one doing any kind of damage for the Miami Marlins. He's up at second with no outs, and Brian Anderson is the batter. He gets a 1-7. That isn't going to be good. That is a single double asterisk and scores the run. So Nola gives up his fourth hit, and his first run. Miguel Rojas is up and gets a 2-7. That is a ground ball, third base B. So he is now the runner at first base. Dickerson is the batter with one out, man on. He gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a line out to second base. And up steps Matt Joyce here in a tie game at one. And he gets a 5-2 left-handed batter, and that's going to be a fly ball to right. So the, the uh, Phillies, uh, or the uh, Marlins get a run, and they tie the game at one as we go to the top of the fifth. D.D. Gregorius is up. He gets a 4-10 left-handed batter. That is going to be a ballpark single, except it won't be. It's going to be actually an out, and it is a fly ball to right field. Or wait, that was bomb. Uh, so let's see, 4-10, probably the same deal. Yeah, it's, it, except it's a fly ball to center, but it basically the same result. He flies out. Segura is up. One down. Uh, two six, and that's a walk. So Segura gets himself aboard. Second walk allowed by Pablo uh, Lopez, and Jay Bruce is the batter. He gets a three four, and that is going to be a ballpark single, and he's a right-handed batter. That might just be a hit. It is. It's a single. So runners are on first and second with uh, only one out. 
hit allowed by Lopez. And Roman Quinn is up. Roman Quinn getting a 6-10, batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball to right field B. That's two outs. And up steps Andrew McCutcheon with a big, he's a, in a big spot here. Two outs, runner in scoring position. And that is a 1-8. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. And uh, no runs come in for the Phillies. In the fifth, we're in a 1-1 game going to the bottom of the fifth. Francisco Cervelli is up. He gets a 3-7. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. One down. Jazz Chisholm is up. He's got a 3-8. That's a fly ball to center field. Two down quickly. And John Birdie gets a 6-7 right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to second X. The second baseman is a 2-E-10. That is an 8. So let's check that out. That's going to be on his cards. Or, so let's roll the dice and see, on the air section. A 10 with a roll of 7 is going to be a ground ball. So he is out, and that is that. He goes out four to three. And we are going to the top of the sixth in tie game at one. This is a very good game. Bryce Harper, but this is two good, really good starting pitchers too. Bryce Harper is the batter. He gets a 5-10 batting left. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. The Marlin shortstop is a uh, is a 2-E-10. That is a 13. Uh, let's see. 13. That is going to be a ground ball B. One away. So he goes out 6-3 to three here in the 6th. And um, the batter is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins getting a 211, and he's hit by the pitch. So Reese Hoskins hit by pitch. He gets a board. G JT Real Muto gets a 2 2, which is going to be a fly ball right field A, which will move the runner over to second, but there's two outs. And Didi Gregorius is up. <clears throat> he gets a 5-6, five, 5-6 six, five, six for a left-handed batter. That's going to be a ground ball second base. No runs come in for our Phillies in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. In a scoreless, well, not a scoreless, but in a tie, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Starling Marte is the batter. He gets a 1-10, and that's a foul out to first base. Jesus Aguiar, the first baseman, is up. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. And Brian Anderson, the third baseman, is the batter. He gets a 1-5, and that's a walk. So Brian Anderson, he's been aboard twice, once with a walk, once with a single, and that's the first walk allowed by Nola. Miguel Roja comes up, and he gets a 1-11, which is going to be... Probably an out, because it's a ballpark single. And, uh, yeah, that is going to be an out. And it will be a uh, ground ball second base. So he goes uh, four to three. And I believe that that's it, right? Yep, that's it. So they don't get any runs there. We go to the top of the seventh. Alec Baum is the batter. 
Now remember, I'm using 2023 rules, so if this goes to extra innings, we will have a, a runner on second base to lead off the inning. I don't like the rule, I hate it, but we're using it. Alec Baum gets a 6-7, and uh, that is going to be a strikeout. Lopez with the K, that is his sixth of the day right there. One down, Segura is up. One eight is a pop out to third base. And up steps Jay Bruce, two down. And he gets a three four, which is going to be a ballpark single, but it won't be. It's going to be a pop out to second base. And we're going to the bottom of the seventh. And Corey Dickerson is the batter for Miami. He gets a 210, and that is a ballpark homer. And he is a left handed batter, and that's not going to be, it's going to be a fly ball to left field. Matt Joyce is up with one down. Both pitchers pitching really good here. 1-4, that's a ground ball to second base, 4-3. to three. This is an excellent pitcher's duel. If you like pitcher's duels, this is one. Francisco Cervelli gets a 3-2, and that is going to be a single. Cervelli, doing, uh, he's, get, he's been on twice. He's got, uh, he's got Nola's number, two singles today. And Jazz Chisholm comes up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. And that is a strikeout for Nola. And we're going to go to the uh, top of the eighth, and there will be a pitching change for the Marlins. They are going to take out uh, no, um, Lopez. He goes seven innings. He allows four hits and one earned run. And um, that's uh, it's a good performance, but, you know, you got to... They are going to bring in Brandon Kinsler to pitch. Brandon Kinsler is a uh, right-handed pitcher. Strat would have projected that had there been a full season, he would have been five and six with a 321 earned run average in 70 innings pitched with 66 hits allowed. And uh, Roman Quinn, we're at the top of the lineup here in the eighth with the Phillies. He gets a 3-3, three, three, and that's going to be a ground ball to first base, one away. McCutcheon is the batter, one down. He gets a 2-2. Two, two. That is a ballpark homer, and he is a right-handed batter. But that is still going to be an out. It's going to be a fly ball to right. And up steps Harper. Harper gets a 1-7. That's a walk. So he's been getting on. He's been doing his part. He's got a double and two walks. Kinsler, that's the first guy he's allowed on. And Reese Hoskins is the batter, and he gets a 3-3, which is going to be a ballpark single, but it won't be. It's going to be a fly ball to right. And we go to the top of the ninth, or no, we go to the bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. My bad. Uh, so <laughs> um, we are going to... I really don't want to take out Nola because we have a terrible, terrible bullpen. Um, but we will. We're going to take out Nola. I mean, this is opening day. Realistically, nobody would go a full um, game. So I'm going to I'm going to play it a little bit realistic here. Not that I have to, because I can do whatever I want. Um, we're going to bring in Tommy Hunter. And uh, so Nola goes seven. He allows five hits, one earned run. 
Hunter would have been projected by Strat to be two and three with a 388 earned run average in 72 innings in 2020. And John Birdie is the guy that's going to face him. So both leadoff hitters uh, are batting first in the eighth inning. Birdie gets a 210, and uh, he is a righty. That's a ground ball, second base. So Birdie goes four to three. And let me write in Hunter. Forgot to do that. Got so many moving parts here. Uh, Starling Marte is the batter. He gets a 2-9. That is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he bounces out uh, to uh, Hunter. And Aguiar is the batter. And Aguiar gets a 4-4. He is a right-handed batter. That is going to be a catcher card X. It's a one, but the catcher is a one. So let's see. That's going to be a, a pass ball followed by a pop-out. So pop-out to the catcher. And no runs come in for uh, either team in the eighth. We're going to the top of the ninth. The Phillies are up. We've still got Kinsler out there. I'm not one of these guys that likes to keep pulling pitchers all the time, especially if they're doing well. JT Real Muto gets a 6-2 batting right, and that is going to be a single. Real Muto is a board with a single. Now I've got I gotta really start to get strategic here and try to figure out what we're gonna do. Gregorius, though, was a pretty good hitter. I'm gonna let him hit. And he's a left-handed hitter. 5'10", batting left, that's a ballpark single, and I th let's see, for a lefty, that is going to be a single. So we got the first two guys on. Kinsler allowing his second hit. Alec Baum is the batter. He is a big-time hitter, but he's also a terrible, probably, bunter. We're going to let him hit. Gets a 2'8". And that is a fly ball right field. So one away, F9. Segura is the batter. One down. He gets a 4-6 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. And that brings up Jay Bruce. And Jay Bruce gets a 6-8. He's a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. We go to the bottom of the ninth. If the Marlins can get a run here, they will win the game. Basically, I'm going to keep Hunter out there because the Phillies had a terrible bullpen. That's the one thing, probably the one reason why in recent years they've been in the playoffs and even got to the World Series, but they didn't do that in 2020. Their bullpen was horrible. Jesus Aguiar is going to be, or no, Anderson. Brian Anderson will be the leadoff hitter. He gets a 3-4, and that's a fly ball to right field. That brings up Miguel Roja. Miguel Roja gets a 1-8. That is a walk. So Roja is aboard with a walk. That's the first man allowed on base by Hunter. And uh, Corey Dickerson is the batter. That is a 1-2, and that's going to be a line out into a double play. Uh, line out to second base. No runs did come in for the Marlins, so we're going to the 10th inning. So now don't keep track of this, because this only goes to nine innings. We are in extra innings. Now the Runner that will be on second base for the Marlins is unfortunately Jay Bruce. <laughs> so Jay Bruce is up at second with Roman Quinn, the batter, and um, he is a bunting A, so we're going to try that. Let me get the chart out so I'm ready here. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna sac sacrifice with him five. Bunting A is batter is thrown out by pitcher. Runners advance one base. So now we've got Bruce at third base, one away. Um, they're going to 
bring the infield in, I suppose. Andrew McCutcheon is up with one down. That is a 4-9. He is a right-handed batter. Kinsler still out there. Um, and that is going to be a ground ball B. And let's see, ground ball B with the infield in. Uh, okay, the runner on third is thrown out, and he is safe. And so now you can probably say we're not going to score this inning. <laughs> um, Quinn got a... He got a sack, and then McCutcheon got a uh, a fielder's choice. And Bryce Harper is the batter with a man at first and two out. And he gets a 5-9. He's a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball second base, 4-3. to No runs come in for the Phillies. We go to the bottom of the 10th. Bottom of the 10th, runner up at second base is going to be, and it's going to be the same deal. I'm going to let Hunter go three innings, just like Kinsler. Um, the, neither of those guys really was a three-inning starter, but again, I'm playing by my own rules, doing what I want to do, managing the way I want to manage. Um, let's see. The batter for the Mar the guy that would be on second for the Marlins, is Dickerson. So Dickerson's up at second. Matt Joyce is up. He's probably a terrible bunter. He is. So they're just going to let him hit. And he gets a 4-10. He's a left-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball second base A. So um, I'm assuming runners do not move on that. One down. Francisco Cervelli is up, and that is a 4-5, uh, and he is a right-handed batter. 4-5 is a strikeout. Hunter with the K, that's his first strikeout of the day, and Jazz Chisholm is up. And he gets a 110, that is a ballpark single, but it will be an out, so it is going to be a foul out to third base. No runs come in in the 10th. We're going to the 11th. And uh, we will take Brandon Kinsler out and bring in another relief pitcher. Kinsler goes three innings for the Marlins. Um, and we are going to bring in... Let's see. They have some actually bad relief pitching out there, too. They're going to bring in Nick Vincent. Stratomatic would have projected Nick Vincent had he played out the entire season to be 3-5 and five with a 443 earned run average in 65 innings pitched. So he's out there with Reese Hoskins uh, batting against him, and the um, runner on second will be Harper. And he has a bunting D. I'm just going to let him hit. And he gets a 411. He is a righty on a righty. That is going to be a ground ball first base A. One away. So. And Real, Real Muto is the batter, the catcher. He gets a 6-3, 6-3 righty. That is going to be a uh, ballpark single, but it won't be. It's going to be a line out to second base. And that brings up Gregorius. And he gets a 5-9 left-handed batter. That is a strikeout. Also, in case you're wondering, um, oh, and uh, yeah, we got to write this down, Nick Vincent. 
Uh, there were no, I don't think there were any, um, like, uh, if, if a pitcher goes beyond his inning of weakness, you know, you've got the, uh, you got the little, um, you know, the little dot next to outs. I don't think any of those did come up anyway while um, the pitchers were pitching. So Hunter will come out. He has pitched three innings. See, now we're now we're in real trouble because and I don't think there are any other good relief pitchers on this team. Um, I am going to bring in... Well, we're going to bring in Blake Parker. Blake Parker wasn't too bad. He would have been projected to a 364 earned run average in 47 innings had there been a full season. And the runner on second for the um, Marlins will be Chisholm. And Birdie is up, and Birdie is a bunting B. So they're going to try that. They are going to try that. That is an eight. So a roll of eight on a sacrifice for a B is batter is thrown up by first baseman runners advance one. Shocker. So now we got to bring the infield in. Um. And we are in the 11th, right? Yes, we are in the 11th. And Marte is the batter with the infield in. And there is one out. And he gets a 3-5. That is not good. That is a... Uh, that is a double. And that's the game. Chisholm scores on that. And the uh, Marlins win the game 2-1 to one in extra innings. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.